Hello, fire signs. Welcome back to the channel, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We are gathered here today for your spiritual messages through the Cartomancy using the Moon and Stars Tarot. Hopefully, you guys had a good day. Come into the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to grow, add some value. Let's see for our fire signs today. What's the message for the Fire Sign Collective Spirit in regards to love and romance? Ooh. I want to see what this is. I may not take it though. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was supposed to come out or not, so I'll just reshuffle. You saw that, right? You saw that. <laughs> hmm. Maybe someone's trying to communicate with you at time, or someone's trying to take back what they said. Or maybe you're being a little bit jumpy, fire signs. Our action oriented sign. So let's get into it. Hopefully, you find some resonance with these messages today. What's the love and romance? What's the energetic connection between you and your, your person, your relationships at this time? What is your personal, what is spirit willing to reveal? Alright, so those actually seem like those wanted to come out. Grounding your message today, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, miscommunication. I'm not sure if someone's misunderstanding you or you're misunderstanding someone. This could be an argument or a debate. Maybe someone's trying to take back something. Yeah, revenge here is the key word on this card. How is the lighting coming in? Yeah. It's kind of iffy trying to get the good lighting in on these messages. Alright, but hey, you got a view. So we got your first card out, Eight of Swords. Yeah, mental prison here. Maybe someone's thinking about something that they said. Maybe someone something that they wrote or a message that they sent here. Two of Cups. Could be in regards to relationship, connection, friendship. You hear for a marriage even. Possibly a business. This could be a Taurus as well. Or this could be a religious individual. Or someone with integrity. Or um, a traditionalist here. The Ten of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> Completion when it comes to the emotions. So that's happiness and wish fulfillment. Mm -mm. It's very high uh, intuitive abilities and gifts as well. Strong intuition. Strong inclination towards love is a strong intuition, right? With love being the highest vibration that we can feel here on a 3D plane. Right? right, like I always say, Ace of Swords understanding. When someone, someone that loves you, typically they see you as their one above all, right? And we have the Ten of Cups, and then we have the religious backing, right? The, the pastor or the preacher. Or again, this could, again, be someone that's very traditional. Ooh, they've been thinking about you a lot, or they've been contemplating. I don't know if they've been uh, writing you or something like that. On one end, we have the Eight of Swords. What was ground in this reading again? The Five of Swords. It could be the... So, language is, is coming towards me. So, I mean, this person may have, like, they may speak a different language than you. Maybe you may come from, like, different cultures. Um, or just have a different way of speaking. Or a different way of understanding. Maybe you come from two different generations. But then we have the two that's jumping to the ten. And in the middle of that, we have the Hierophant. So it's like some sort of a connection that you guys have. Or that this person is wanting to develop with you here. Trying to get, trying to get on one accord. The Emperor showing up. <laughs> Ayo. So, uh, Aries energy. Yeah. Mm, okay, so I'm getting a very proud individual as well. Very masculine individual, right? If you're a feminine and you're watching this. Could even be a very structured feminine if you're a male watching this. The Six of Swords. 
yeah, they're traveling towards some sort of a deep understanding or clarity here that they're trying to obtain. This could be possibly with you. The Hierophant is here, which is spiritual guidance, so they could be looking at you as some sort of a teacher, right? Right? We always think it's the teacher that teaches the students, but sometimes it's the students that teach the teacher as well, right? So let there be a, a, a reciprocation, right? I always talk about um, balance here. Right? There wouldn't even be any teachers if there weren't students willing to learn, right? There would be no love relationship, right, if you don't have a person. Let's go ahead and clarify the Hierophant. The Four of Wands, your person coming in. So your person is very spiritual or religious, or they're very anointed or something like that, or people view them as like um, a spiritual motivator, like a pastor or a preacher or something like that. But this can indeed be indicative of marriage, right? Grounding some sort of a spiritual or religious connection or relationship, right? This would be like um, making uh, a relationship tangible, right? marriage right putting the actual vows in place and that sort of thing right instead of shacking up it would be actually turning a uh, house into a home which is the feminine um which is like a feminine thing right we make houses into homes knight of pentacles the slow moving offer right but it's very tangible right the knight of the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving offer <laughs> the slowest moving knight right <laughs> in the deck but it's a very tangible offer it's trust right we all know that trust takes a long time to build especially after one breaks trust it takes even longer to get that trust back yeah so yeah they're bringing something serious to you here they may even be putting what i'm getting in my head is someone bringing their heart to you on a platter because this is ten of cups and this is the offer that they're bringing right this could be like an engagement or something like that maybe work we're going to clarify the Ace of Swords for the fire signs here. Ace of Wands. There you go. Showing up in your energy. Very creative. Very attractive. All right. Taking the initiative here on some sort of an old idea. This is actually my new sex position card. So this could be some sort of a kundalini awakening within you or the way that this person sees you. They see you as being very inspiring. Um, maybe you help them. Uh, I'm getting catalog downloads, but maybe you help them uh, decipher downloads or something like that. A lot of intuition, a lot of spirituality here in this connection. Let's go with one more roll for the Aries, Leo, and the Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Emperor on top of the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you help this person. This would be like um, someone that helps someone decode uh, hieroglyphics. Right? Egypt is becoming a big thing. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, wanting to invest. A vision, a clear and accurate vision. Right? My pruning card, my gardening card, my looking back on what you have built in order to move forward towards that eight of pentacles All right. for some this could be pregnancy or some sort of an incubation period the seven of pentacles is also my um my hourglass card so i don't know maybe you, you're waiting on something or cherishing something here you don't want it to uh, you want it to last you don't want it to end five of wands or this could be the person that's coming towards you, right? They're, um, this is my paparazzi card, but it's conflict, right? It's change. It's difficulties. This could also be uh, literally like, okay, so this could be training as well. Because mm -hmm. when we look at the original picture of the right away tarot, we see all five of those people uh, fighting with um, wands pretty much or sticks, right? It's not the sword suit, which is indicative of war, right? A war of words, right? And swords, if people were fighting with swords or training with swords, they would kill each other. So what do you do? You train with sticks. So yeah, this person could be in competition um, coming towards you, or this could be someone that you're training here. Three of Pentacles, yeah, a student, a disciple. Someone that has a great ability to succeed here, right? It's Pentacles, so it's the work, it's the career, right? Maybe someone you work with, a coworker. You may even be dating a co-worker. <laughs> this may be someone that you're dating. Or, you know what I, I say about the Three of Pentacles. It's someone that you work in the same industry as, right? So a doctor and a nurse, uh, a musician and a dancer, you know, uh, these types of people. It would, be, uh, and it, would, it would be a great idea to date someone that has an understanding of what you do versus someone that you have to sit that. You have to go out of your way to explain why you're doing the things that you do and they just look at you like you're a weirdo. <laughs> oh yeah, you like this weirdo though. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah. After the Three of Pentacles comes the Three of Cups. So they want to work with you. 
collaborations, third parties, they wanting happiness. And it, first of all, the Three of Pentacles is, is excitement. And then the Three of Cups is celebration. So this is what they want to have with you. Excitement and celebration. <laughs> okay, they wanted to link up here. The Wheel of Fortune. Celebrity vibes, right? Luck. Karma, it says on the card, right? Wish fulfillment. The Wedding Ring card for me. Now look at this. We have the Wheel of Fortune on top of the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is what they want from you. They wanted to extract... Uh, I'm not, they could be extremely curious about you. They wanted to extract knowledge from you and possibly some sort of a spiritual advice or sexual, possibly a sexual experience here. I mean, there is a union here that must be consummated here at some point, especially if this is a relationship or this is your person. Hmm? There's a romantic relationship brewing here with the Two of Cups. Let's go and the Three of Cups. Four of Wands, yeah, we have a crescendo. Five of Wands, the Six of Swords, mm -hmm. the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords is a nine here. There's no nine here, and the Wheel of Fortune is a ten, but we skip over the nine, which is a karmic number. So there's no karmic energy in this connection. It's a bunch of positivity. There may be a little bit of confusion, right? Like, again, you could be dating someone that's, um, that speaks a different language than you or comes from a different culture. This could be like a suburban, uh, suburban girl and like a dude from the hood or vice versa, right? It's something about whatever, you know, opposites attracting here, right? Karma, bring the, it's the law of attraction. Mm. Five of Swords, the Hangman, Enlightenment involved in the situation, or it could be a Pisces here. This could be a pause or a hang-up moment here. I'm not sure what the pause or the hang-up is. Two of Pentacles, balancing. Yeah, okay, so you must be trying to balance this connection. Could be a work-life balance or something like that. Knight of Cups comes in, and then the King of Cups. At the bottom, the Ten of Wands. The burdens here. Could be high amounts of spirituality. There's high amounts of... Um, intuition here with the ten of cups like extremely uh, potent psychic gifts or uh, empathic and intuitive gifts but yeah the five of swords trying to gain some sort of an understanding here i'm, I'm assuming enlightenment right <laughs> could have been recently had a weird dream or something like that that someone's trying to interpret may need to keep a dream journal balancing here yeah falling out of bed here <laughs> you ever had a dream that made you fall out of bed or you like jumping around in your sleep or whatever the case may be knight of cups romantic offer coming towards you could be poetry or something like that someone telling you sweet nothings mm -hmm. the king of cups the ultimate romance here the renaissance man here and the uh tarot mm -hmm. Very empathic, very intuitive. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? But they're a healer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely possessing psychic gifts. The Wheel of Fortune here is my crystal ball. And we have the Hangman Enlightenment here and the Emperor. So, yeah, there's some sort of a leader here. Mm -hmm. All leaders have some sort of a uh, higher perspective or gift that they're, look, they're viewed as a celebrity for. This could also be the possibility of great abundance headed towards you here as well, right? I see someone working on a business, right? Yeah, uh, entrepreneurship in the higher font. Mm -hmm. Like how most churches are not taxed. That's why the Vatican has so much damn money. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, but that's it. That's all I have for you, fire signs. You can definitely have a... Um, well, you're showing up in your energy at, in the emperor for Aries, right? But you can definitely have a water sign or someone very um, intuitive or clairvoyant headed towards you. Right? Possibly a very lucky individual as well, right? I don't know. They have like, I'm getting, um, time is on my side. Yes, it is. But what I'm thinking of is that Denzel Washington movie, Fallen, where he was dealing with a demon that was jumping from body to body. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, a lot of um, positivity in the reading. Sorry to mention that last part. I don't know, maybe that resonated with some of you guys that are old enough to even watch that movie. It came out in the 90s, so it's not even that old. But Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, this person definitely wants to be up in your energy here. Four of Wands, they see you as their person, right? 
two aces, ace of swords and ace of wands, there's, a, there's definitely a new beginning or a new opportunity headed towards you or some sort of a breath of fresh air or aha moment here. Someone's going to be romancing you here. All right. But that is what I have for you here today, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.